okay this is answer value this value we are creating this and these things in this value we are creating these all objects first we are creating this shape okay first um pressing f for front view then i am going to this 2d shape rectangle and again press s for snaps okay first i am creating this thing this is this one i am creating this thing this shape then right click convert to spline and again i am giving the thickness extrude and this one thickness 4 inches select and press p then z orbit and rotate then press f3 okay this is thing this one okay this is completed now we go to front view then go to modify panel and select the segment and then select this one this movies next go to and then having the just press on line but we want the thickness enable in rendering enable in report thickness 1.5 inches on okay next right click yes more okay next modify select segment select hold shift and drag okay now we see just move next press f we are complete this part then again this one again you select rectangle and press snaps s yes. okay we don't want any thickness on line okay let's just pan okay then convert to spline this rectangle convert into spline okay next we are giving the thickness extrude again 4 inches then perspective view and z next i move this object a little bit okay next okay next i go to now then we go to perspective view and this is completed now we are creating this object this and this front i am pressing f for front view and then again i am using this auto grid auto grid checkbox just this when we are activating this auto grid checkbox this rectangle create on surface then i am removing check just what happened here just this this rectangle created on this surface okay next i am right click convert into spline next front view just go to this area and spline 
next I am using outline option just then I'm giving the thickness actual okay I'm giving the six inches next I am move this just so, so getting just move this next just check the position check the position okay next continue just hold the shift button and click and drag creating another clone then select on this option rotate ok next time just move perspective view z just jump ok then ok next i am selecting this object and rotate and hold shift 90 degrees ok move and press s for snaps then tick and move so is completed next time we see this this one we create this thing hold shift press s for snaps off hold shift for copy okay next just move and y axis okay this is completed if you want to change the size just modify segment move and this also just select vertex and move this one next i am selecting this object and hold shift and copy again next you see this one next take rectangle and snaps okay we don't want this thickness okay next I'm increasing rectangle size little bit and this also little bit just like six inches next I'm press S for convert to spline and again actual and one inch yes you see just p and j perspective this one digestion yes a little bit okay next pan and i just Okay. Next, we are creating this one. View right again F three. And next, come to spline.
नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ स्नैप्स यस देन यू गिव द थिकनेस एक्सट्रोड पर्सपेक्टिव व्यू देन यू सी हाउ इट इज क्रिएटेड दिस वन देन now we go to create this things front view and creating on one the rectangle 10 feet height okay so 19 feet first one there Right, right click, convert to the spline, and spline. Next, outline. More segments. Next, yes, more one. Okay, and select the spline. A shift. Select the segment. And this one, and again add thickness, nine inches wall, and perspective view Z. Now go to top view. I'm moving one or two four feet. Perspective view Z. Next orbit. This is. Next, I'm going to top view. Yeah. Again, hold shift and rotate. Create a copy again. Next, move. Okay. Next, go to perspective view and Z and orbit. I'm rolling. See this. We have the only windows. So, removing this plan and select and hold shift and copy again another window and then go to top view. And again, creating another rectangle. Then convert to spline, front view, and extrude just like one inch. Hmm. Go to perspective view. Then just orbit. This is a basic shape. We continue another. Thank you. Thank you for watching.